Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Blair. Today I have another fun video. We are doing a full face of Physicians Formula makeup. I have some of my old favorites and some new products from Physicians Formula as well. I have a few of the new natural defense products that are brand new to Physicians Formula and some really good old favorites too. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look using all Physicians Formula makeup, please keep watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm first going to put on some lip balm from Physicians Formula. This is the Butter Sleeping Mask from Physicians Formula. I actually got this in a holiday set a few months ago and figured I would use it in this video. It smells like mango. I'm not even sure if you can buy this. I think this might have been an exclusive item to that holiday kit that I got it in. Not sure, but it's very moisturizing. Okay, next we are moving on to primer. This is a new product from Physicians Formula. I have the Natural Defense Primer Oil. So this is from the new Natural Defense line from Physicians Formula. I actually have the foundation and the concealer from this line as well. So this is a primer oil. I've never used a primer oil before and it also has SPF 15, which is pretty interesting. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's a nice glass bottle. And you get, I feel like this would probably last you a while. It's one fluid ounce, but I feel like you're probably not gonna need a whole lot of this. I don't wanna use too much. Let's see. All right, I put two drops on my hands. Okay, so this has a very strong fragrance. Oh, yeah, it feels nice, but very, very strong fragrance. So if you are sensitive to smells in products, I would stay away from this. It feels very smoothing. On your skin and it's not super super greasy looking or feeling really so maybe this will work well I don't know but yeah I wish it didn't have the fragrance in it I didn't realize that when I bought it fragrance is listed kind of in the middle of the ingredients list which is not the best but I have it so I'm gonna try it now we're gonna move on to foundation. So that primer did dry down. It doesn't feel oily really on my face, so that's good. So for foundation, I do have the Natural Defense Foundation. It's new from Physicians Formula. So this is SPF 30. It's supposed to have the blue light protection that seems to be very popular in makeup right now. I got mine in the shade light. I did swatch this on my hand the other day and I'm not sure how this color is gonna work for me. If I don't like it, I will mix in some of my healthy foundation. If you've seen any of my other videos, you may know I absolutely love Positions Formula Healthy Foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations ever. But I did wanna try out this new one just to see. Although I will say the shade range of this is not great and I just don't understand. I feel like Physicians Formula does this a lot where they just don't come out with enough shades of things and I don't know why because their products are generally very good but they don't, the shade ranges usually are not great. 
So here's the foundation. So it's in a pump squeeze bottle. So this is one pump. It's not super runny, but it, I guess it's a little runny. I don't know about this color is looking kind of pink, which is what I thought the other day when I pumped some out. I was not sure about this color. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Okay, we're going to use it anyway. Maybe it's okay. It's very light. It's kind of a moussey texture, but it's not, it's still pretty thin in consistency. Okay, just going to blend this in. I think this is supposed to be pretty light coverage. So we'll see. So this is about three-fourths of a pump. So it's definitely, I would agree, pretty light coverage. I mean, it's light to light medium, I guess. I'm not crazy about this color. It does look a little pinky to me. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but compared to my neck, it looks kind of pinky. So I think I am going to mix in a little bit of my healthy foundation and see if that helps. The finish is nice. It's very natural. It looks, reminds me of a tinted moisturizer. So I do like the finish. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my healthy foundation. I wear the shade LW2 in this and I absolutely love this foundation. I don't know what's going on with it because there are all these rumors everywhere of people saying it's being discontinued and I really hope that's not true because this, I mean, this is one of my go-to foundations. I absolutely love it. It's a great amount of coverage. It doesn't look thick or cakey. It has, let's see, SPF 20. I mean, it is a great everyday foundation. and I would really be heartbroken if they got rid of it. I have seen some people are finding the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation on clearance, like at Target, or um, I've seen some people even finding it at TJ Maxx. So if you find this somewhere for a very affordable price, I would highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's really, really nice. Let's move on to concealer. I did get the Natural Defense Concealer. This one is also in the shade light. This also has SPF 30 in it, which is pretty interesting. I feel like you don't see that many concealers with SPF, but I just have to say the shade range on this concealer is even worse than the foundation. I think this only comes in four shades. When I looked, I wanna say it comes in fair, light, light, medium, and medium. And I think that's it. Why? Why? I just don't understand that. Who? Four colors is not enough. But anyway, we're going to try this out. I believe it's a squeeze tube with a sponge applicator. So it's, it looks kind of like a mini version of the foundation. Yeah, so it has a sponge tip applicator. I found this at Target, but I have not seen this many places. I got the foundation and the primer oil from CVS. Okay, so yeah, it's a little sponge. I typically do not like sponge applicators just because most of the time they get very messy. Okay, get a little bit of the product. Okay, so the color is decent, but this applicator, I can already tell, is going to get old really fast. So we're going to go ahead and blend it out with my damp sponge. 
Actually, when I was buying this concealer, I was thinking, or actually I've thought about this before. Why does Physicians Formula not make the healthy concealer? They have the healthy foundation. A lot of people seem to really love that foundation. They should make the healthy concealer. I think that's a brilliant idea. Physicians Formula, if you're ever watching this, I would really appreciate it if you would make the healthy concealer. I think that would be a great addition to your product offering. Okay, so this is a very light coverage concealer. Kind of re slightly reminds me of the Maybelline Age Rewind because of the sponge applicator, but also the consistency is very thin, like that concealer. Okay, so there it is. The coverage is not great, so if you have a lot to cover, you may not love this. The finish is nice. It's kind of a, it's just a natural finish, like the foundation. It's not super matte looking, but it's definitely not a very dewy, hydrating looking concealer. Let's try adding a tiny bit more and see what happens. I'm going to use my finger and see what happens. Okay, so my finger seems to be working pretty well to blend this out. I will say it's not looking very creasy and it doesn't look dry. Dryness is my main concern with concealers because I do naturally just have drier under eyes. It does not look dry. The coverage is not great. You saw I did two layers and it looks decent. I did, I meant to mention, I used my normal Urban Decay color corrector under my eyes because to my knowledge, Physicians Formula does not have a peach corrector for under your eyes. That's another great idea. They could do the healthy corrector for under the eyes. That would be a good product too. So I did correct a little bit. I mean, it looks pretty decent. I will say I like the concealer, I think, better than the foundation, just based on my first impression. We'll see how it wears, but so far the concealer is okay. The shade range though kind of kills it. I don't, they need to expand the shade range. The oil primer seems to look really nice under these products. So. I like that so far, other than the fragrance. And this I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this yet. I would still choose my healthy foundation personally. Now before I set my face, I did want to use a cream bronzer. So you may have seen a few months ago, I did a review of the Healthy Elixir line from Positions Formula, and I got this bronzer for that video. It's the Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer with jojoba oil. I think this is the color toffee. I'm pretty sure. So I do really like this bronzer. It's really creamy. It looks really nice and pretty. They do have one other shade that's a little bit darker. I can't remember the name, but there are two shades of this. This is the lighter one. I'm just gonna draw a little bit of this. on my face and then I usually use this buffing brush from Positions Formula and just kind of buff it out. So this reminds me of my Milk Makeup Bronzer. I will say I think the milk one is a little more of a neutral bronze where this one is a little bit warmer, but I like them both. And this is a much more 
affordable option. And I also have one of the Dewy Blush Elixirs from that line. Pink Berry is the color that I have. So I'm gonna use just a tiny bit of this. So this color is really, really pretty. Kind of a mauve pink. but it's super, super pretty. These are really nice for the price. So I usually put mine on the back of my hand and then I use this stippling brush and basically just get my product built up on that brush and then I just lightly apply some on my cheeks. So pretty. Usually bring a little bit on my nose, but these, these also came in a few different colors. If you're looking for a cream blush that is more affordable, definitely look into these from Physicians Formula. I am going to go ahead and take a little bit of my butter bronzer and just lightly set where we put that cream bronzer. I feel like I can't do a physician's formula video and not include the butter bronzer. That's just, that just can't happen. So we're just going to take a little bit of this. This is actually the light butter bronzer, but I have the original too. I love that one too. I'm just gonna lightly go around my face with this. I swear, as soon as you open this butter bronzer, the smell is intoxicating. Oh, it's so good. So we put the butter bronzer on and now I'm going to use just a tiny bit of this butter blush. This is actually in the shade Natural Glow. This is a very, very light pink. Like it's very, very subtle. You barely would notice it, but I'm just going to use a tiny bit of this just to set where we put that blush. So hopefully it'll last all day because that's the one thing about cream bronzer and other products they sometimes will wear off throughout the day but if you set it with just a tiny tiny bit of powder it should last a little bit longer now i'm going to use so this is the healthy powder and i actually found this on clearance at target for 978 so i think you can wear this on its own but i'm just going to use a tiny bit and lightly set my face. For my eyebrows, I got this at Target too on clearance. This is, let's see, what is this called? The Physician's Formula Brow Last Long Wearing Brow Gel. This was also on clearance for $4.38. So it has a spoolie on one end. In case you unscrew it, do you use this? I guess you do. Interesting. I feel like this is gonna be hard to use, but okay. So this is the shade light brown. So this, let's see. Brush the brows up. I guess you're supposed to use this little brush. It looks, I feel like this is going to be super, super messy. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's actually not that messy. 
and that just went on pretty easily actually it just kind of glides on I thought it was gonna be really like goopy and hard to work with but it's actually not I don't love this applicator it's kind of hard to hold because you just have this tiny little thing here but the color looks nice and it does apply really well it's not a super precise product for precise brows but I don't like that on an everyday basis anyway and the color is really good for me this is the shade light brown if I didn't say that So I guess this is like color and it's supposed to set the brows as well. So it's like a two-in-one. So that's really interesting. I'm definitely going to keep using this and see maybe I can get a little bit better at it. But it actually doesn't look that bad. Huh, cool. I'm going to take a little bit of the concealer. And I'm going to use this to prime my eyes I have the butter eyeshadow in the sultry nights palette and I've had this for quite a while and I've actually never used it I really wanted to save it to use in this video so this palette is super, super pretty. This is a really great mixture of mattes and shimmer shades. Okay. So I'm first going to go in with this matte cream color. And we're just going to set that concealer down. So please let me know what your favorite products are from Positions Formula. I feel like... Honestly, they're one of my favorite drugstore brands. I just have a lot of luck with their products. And it's really making me nervous how many places have a lot of their stuff on clearance. So I'm very curious what's going on. I just hope they're not discontinuing the Healthy Foundation. That would absolutely break my heart if they did. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade right here it's kind of a matte very neutral toned brown and we are just gonna go in the crease with this these shades do have a good bit of fallout if that bothers you okay so that's a really nice transition shade. It's not super warm and it's not super cool. So I love shades like that. I feel like that's kind of hard to find sometimes in palettes. You'll get a really, really warm shade or a really, really cool shade, but not a really good neutral. So I do really like that. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more, but I don't want to get too close. So let me know how close up you like to see eyeshadow. I just don't ever want to be too up close. But I know a lot of people complain on YouTube about people not zooming in. So I try to do that. But it's also kind of hard sometimes to stay in focus when you do that. But let me know what you like better. So I'm really wanting to use these two shades, this gold and then this orangey color. But yeah, they're making me really nervous with all of these products being clearanced. I went in a Walgreens too not that long ago and they had all of their healthy foundations clearanced and all of the healthy lip. I think they're like the velvet liquid lips. Those were all clearanced too. So it's making me kind of nervous. Okay, so those colors are super pretty. 
Now I'm going to go into this really pretty mossy green. Okay. So there is that color. Almost looks kind of gray when mixed with those gold shimmer shades. But it does look pretty. I like it. So now I'm going in with that transition shade we used right here. Just keep on blending, blending, blending. Now I'm going to take, I think, I'm torn between this shimmer shade and this shimmer shade for my lid. I think I'm first going to try this one right here and I'm just going to use my finger for this and we're just going to put this on the lid. I am going to take that transition shade again and just put a tiny bit of this on my lower lash line. So overall, I like this palette. I think it's very versatile. You could do a lot of things with this because there's such a good range of mattes and shimmers and a lot of different colors too. So I do really like this eyeshadow palette. I do not have an eyeliner from them. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. And we will apply a little bit of mascara. Okay, the mascara I have is the Organic Wear Lash Boosting Mascara. This is the only mascara I've ever tried from Physicians Formula. And I've only used it a few times. And it's not like a holy grail mascara by any means, but I liked it. Okay, so this is definitely, yeah, I remember this now, more of a lengthening mascara. Not so much for volume. It's a very thin, wet formula. So there's the mascara. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, so if you like more of a lengthening formula, you would probably really like this. I think you can get the older version of this right now at TJ Maxx, too, if you're interested. The Physicians Formula stuff at TJ Maxx is very, very affordable, so keep an eye out for that. Last but not least, we have lips. I have two lip products here. This is one of their new lip Let's see, Velvet Lip Color Crayons. This is from the Rosé All Day, Rosé Kiss All Day collection, and this color is Pillow Talk. So, ooh. This kind of smells like something. It's very creamy. It smells kind of like candy. Yeah, it smells kind of like sweet tarts or something. I don't know. It's very creamy though. I love that about it. Ooh, that color is really pretty though. It's kind of similar to my natural lip color. They did have a bunch more colors in these two. I got this one at CVS. I have not seen this line anywhere else except CVS from Physicians Formula. And the last thing I have, we'll just add a little bit of this. This is one of the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. I think they're lip lacquers maybe. The Healthy Lip Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade All Natural Nude.
Oh, wow. Yeah, I always forget these liquid lipsticks from Physicians Formula. They are the creamiest liquid lipsticks I've ever used. They are not the typical dry, matte looking liquid lipsticks. They have a ton of pigment, but they're very hydrating and almost a little bit glossy looking on your lips. So I love that about these. That's why I was so upset when I saw all of these were clearanced at CVS. So I don't know what's going on. So this is the final look. Honestly, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty freaking good. Honestly, I really like most of these products. The only thing I'm iffy about is the Natural Defense Foundation. And the concealer, I actually do like the way it looks as far as the finish goes, but I'm not crazy about the applicator. I'm not crazy about the color. And I do think it's crazy that it only comes in four shades. So for that reason, I don't know that I would recommend this unless you can find a color you think that would work for you, then I might consider trying this out. If you're wanting to try a foundation from Positions Formula, I still think this is the winner from them. You cannot go wrong with a healthy foundation. Everything else though, I really like. I like the eyeshadow. I think it turned out really pretty. The lip combo is beautiful. Even this brow product, I was very skeptical of this, but it actually looks pretty decent on my eyebrows. I feel like it would just be one of those things you would have to figure out how to use it. But once you get it, you might really like that. So if you see this at Target clearance for $4, I might consider picking that up. So the primer oil, I love the idea of a primer that's an oil because I love to mix oils with my moisturizer, especially before I apply foundation. I just think it makes a huge difference in how your skin looks, but this is very fragranced. I mean, as soon as you unscrew the top, you will smell it, and the fragrance is listed pretty high up on the ingredients list, so I don't like that. So for that reason, I would probably skip this, but not because I don't like it, because that's too much fragrance for me. They should just take that out and I think that would be a great product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Also make sure to subscribe. I do post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you. I'll see you next time. Bye.